of the uh, main meanings of the poem, One Need Not Be a Cheerer to Be Haunted, uh, is that um, it's the physical battle against your mental battle. Uh, one of the most prominent examples of this is the love stanza, in which the body borrows a revolver. This references back to when she's talking about the assassin in, uh, in the apartment. So the body can prevent against the assassin, but one's mind cannot prevent against um, things like depression and isolation. The horrors outside, and the physical horrors in, in the world outside of your mind, are actually a lot less um, terrible than the ones inside of your brain. Things like depression and fear. Um, Hello, Hello. Um, I'm here with... Um, We're here to talk about uh, Emily Dickinson. One might not be a chamber to be haunted. His expert here, I'm going to ask him a few questions in this interview about the poem. Okay, so what main ideas and themes are presented in the poem? I think uh, isolation, turmoil and depression. Okay. How are these ideas presented through structure and form? I think that structure and form is all linked in some way. Uh, form is clear, but Dickinson alters it through half rhyme to emphasise uncertainty and hesitation. Uh, she uses uh, Cezira and a John one to fragment it. It creates a feeling of chaos and turmoil, and I think she's reflecting and pondering on her actions. How are these ideas? What meanings and symbolism does this poem have? Because it's a very interesting. It is very interesting. I would expand on that. I think it's a um, psychological poem focusing on a state of mind. Um, one need not be determined to be haunted. This implies the poem, uh, poet is haunted inside their own head. Far safer of a midnight meeting, external ghost implies the horrors of the outside world somehow pale to the horrors inside her own head. Our self behind ourself suggests the layered personality. Uh, she's concealing her true self. And finally, bolt to the door indicates that you can shut out the outside world but you're still trapped inside your own head and you can't escape your own personality. And Emily Dickinson grew up in a Puritan family. She didn't realise the effect it had on the way she writes poetry. Um, romanticism it was popular during the late 18th century and early 19th century and it was characterised by a rebellious assertion of individual beliefs and Emily Dickinson shows this as she goes against the Christian beliefs in a lot of her poems. Um, it has been suggested her erratic behaviour of never leaving her home was the result of a broken love affair and that could relate to the theme of loneliness that is throughout this poem and that is a quote to show this is in a lonesome place. And Dickinson also uses gothic imagery throughout the poem such as Chamber and Abbey and Bolts and Ghost. Gothic literature became quite popular in the 18th century when Dickinson was alive. So it also explores the con concept of the unknown, which is quite a popular um, theme for her. She explores this in quite a lot of her poems and it pushes the limits of what is acceptable in society. Dickinson also sets up the Gothic ideas against the human mind to, su to suggest that it's more haunted and unknown than even a Gothic tale.